So in this recent campaign, we achieved everything we were aiming for. We had several new diagnostic systems that we've brought online and commissioned, and are now collecting uh, high quality data. And we developed a range of plasma scenarios that we'll use in the future for studying the physics of the high field spherical tokamak. In our 100 million degree campaign, the plasmas in SD40 were in a configuration known as limited, where the plasma is touching the center post. In our recent campaign, we've developed diverted plasmas, where the plasma is moved away from the center post and isolated from the walls of the machine, meaning we can get hotter, higher performance core plasmas. Since achieving the 100 million degrees, we're working towards four main goals on SD40. The first is improving energy confinement and plasma stability. And the second is developing high performance plasma scenarios, including increasing the bootstrap current fraction. Now, the bootstrap current is a self-driven current that's generated by the plasma. And with high bootstrap currents, you can minimize the need for external current drive, which uses lots of energy. Thirdly, we're exploring plasma exhaust scenarios. And finally, we're looking at solenoid free startup, which is a big advantage for the spherical tokamak, where there's limited space in the center of the device. All of this is focused on improving plasma performance and efficiency, and will feed into our pilot plant program. So one of the things I really like about working on fusion is that everyone's working towards a shared goal of getting commercial fusion on the grid. And all of our campaigns here on SD40 are focused towards that goal. Mm -hmm.